Well, let's speak some more about this now to Yair Cohen, who is a lawyer specializing in internet law and social media. He's also the author of The Net is Closing, Birth of the E-Police. Thank you so much for being with us on Al Jazeera. Why is the U.S. government pushing this antitrust investigation against big tech companies? What is it hoping to achieve? It is a double concern. There is an economic concern and there is a political concern, of course. In terms of the economic concern, if, if you take Google, for example, Google uh, controls 95% of the search engine uh, activities. So it has got a highly dominant position. And through this dominant position, Google is able to promote all its other services. So say, for example, you want to uh, book a flight, uh, you go on Google search, you tap the, the flight details, and the first thing that uh, shows up is Google own uh, flight search, which means Google will take a care of it at the expense of perhaps smaller travel agents and smaller uh, developers who might be hoping to develop similar products. Now, traditionally, right. dominant positions prevent uh, competition, create higher prices. But that leads us to the political aspect of it, because what members of the uh, House of Representatives are concerned about is that the dominant position of Google, Facebook, Twitter might allow them to go and brainwash people. And the concern about, of course, the previous presidential election, uh, where there are many still in the U.S. who believe that the, the elections had been won by Donald Trump, due to unfair influence that people had been subjected to so, via internet and social media. Yair, so how big of a headache is this going to be for the tech companies? Does this move by Congress make them now more vulnerable to lawsuits? We are talking about investigations that are likely to last for five to seven years. And the investigation, the, the matters eventually will get settled. But the, in terms of the big worry, the worry is that this whole thing is about regulations, that the U.S. government wants to be able to take control over the internet, be able to regulate internet activities via regulations of internet companies. Now, regulating internet means less control uh, for internet companies, uh, more uh, taxes, more uh, corporations, more influence by government. The government effectively wants to get into the internet. They want to start policing it. Mm. And one way of doing this is, is by uh, placing a lot of pressure on internet companies through the economic route. What about the consumers? How do they benefit from such a move? Well, consumers uh, certainly benefit in any area where there is uh, real competition. So whenever there is a competition, people are only exposed to, to certain type of news, certain type of opinions, certain type of products. They clearly don't benefit from it. They might feel that it is convenient to read this, the type of news that we were used to uh, be reading and not be exposed to anything else. So once competition becomes v very difficult to control, it means that prices are high. There is no alternative. There, there is very little alternative for consumers. So the way consumers will benefit is, number one, there are going to be some very hefty fines, but likely to be, which are going to compensate for the low taxes those companies are paying at the moment. And Second, it is likely that the, those internet companies will voluntarily start opening up the market for competition. Yeah, Cohen, thank you very much for talking to us on Al Jazeera. You're welcome. Thank you.